all of you, you watching Ema Pan News. The power needs of seven different states building their views, their world views. And we will still need fuels for cars and other. Our industry, the cable and conductor industry, needs to be given a good uh, boost by the government. This is scheduled to be begin only by 2011-2012. More news and updates. Till then, it's goodbye. Welcome you all on this gracious occasion of Hamid Abbasov celebration of Pan News program. Pan News has successfully completed 100 episodes. We all are very keen to be part of the development of the country. When I was the power secretary here, I remember. This program of Power News was started, and uh, I watched it with uh, very great interest. I wish Jui and Beauty News family all the best and great success in the future. Welcome to Wilbin Power News. Rural Electrification Corporation is raising nearly rupees thirty thousand crores. Any project doesn't mean that equipment delays cause uh, the delay in project. Power prices in the short term market had grown to nearly fourteen rupees fifty paisa. Do join us next week. Till then, goodbye and take care. Maharashtra's power scenario. The last four or five years is well known. This investment did not go into the you know, power generation. Industry needs power, yes. There is only four words to describe it. Most of the large industries are getting uninterrupted supply. In today's episode, we are going to discuss Rajasthan's power scenario. We are deficient in 200 lakh like units. We have plans to install 9,700 megawatts. Still, we would like a more holistic approach to be adopted. If you talk of Haryana, how far Akshay Urja would be able to meet the rising demand? There are two levels really in which you can look at renewable energy development. This year, in spite of the, at the tail of the recession, this is expected to be about 15 gigawatts. If a cluster of village has its own mini grid. Rajasthan has come up with a, with a very different idea. When do you see the situation improving? Across the board, we have no power cut this uh, season. One of the big issues for delays in power plants was the financial crunch. We have already sanctioned about 300 megawatt of uh, biomass projects. Investments from the private sector for 5 megawatt projects. In today's episode of Power News, we are going to discuss new policy initiated for a green energy future and climate change. This year around for the it is in that context that your second question also has meaning. As uh, elected people, it's very important that we create cities that are inclusive. If cities are planned so that people can walk or cycle to work, there was nothing really special to encourage uh, the people.
With the Indian construction industry gearing up for the next phase of growth, the domestic construction companies are preparing themselves to take on the impending challenges. Delhi Metro could finish prior to the scheduled time. It, it just shows that you know it helped us in uh, overcoming this issue of time and cost overrun. India's high focus on infrastructure development in the recent years has prompted a major boom in the country's construction and building industries. The next few years are crucial for the industry as it tries to enter the next phase of the growth story. India's building and construction industry contributes almost 15% of the country's GDP. You see a lot of projects coming up on PPP basis, the government has already announced that. So I see a substantial amount of traction coming in the infrastructure sector in the next six to eight months. I think the government will have, and the regulators will have to do is to sort out the land issues before they even tender out projects. More than the construction industry, it's the developer, developers of projects, both on the real estate side and on the PPP side, who are suffering uh, on account of uh, funding issues, both on terms of debt as well as in terms of equity. Uh, we feel that future is still Reserve Bank of India changes its stance and starts believing that real estate is not passing through any bubble. Uh, PE funds will be built. No. I think with this kind of interest regime, no infrastructure can be built. Uh, and uh, if we have to drive these projects, we will, government will have to really bring down interest rates and uh, allow more money to come in. Uh, into infrastructure.